all good things come to an end unfortunately i'll do this video in english and the reason why you'll see it in this vlog I'll do this vlog in English because during the two weeks I've met so many persons. I met travelers, I met refugees, I met volunteers and they all asked me, well, Hank Jan, what are your videos about? I told them, well, I'm sorry, they're in Dutch, you won't understand anything of it. So this is why I do this video in English. And to give you a short summary, it's been amazing. I have met a lot of beautiful people. Let me, let me just share my, my personal story. When I came to Lesbos, I had pre-justice. I had some thoughts about refugees. I read on the news, I heard on television, like 1,000 refugees here, 500 there, 30 there. Numbers, numbers, numbers. For me, a refugee, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't touch it. So one of the reasons to come here was, of course, the adventure and to, to see, okay, what is it like in Camp Moria? And, after these two weeks I've talked to so many persons in Moria. I heard so many stories, I've seen so many faces. They are people, they are Mustafa, they are Mohammed, they are Ali, they are Jean-Pierre. Too many to mention. Beautiful, beautiful people. Refugees, there are no refugees. I try to ab abandon that word. I try to say just people they are travelers they, they travel from all over the world and this time they are in Europe and next time probably I will travel from Europe to all over the world um, and it was a blessing to help them I really really enjoyed it I think these two weeks they were the it was the best job I ever had what also was amazing was was the team I used to be a boy scout and I used to be in the military and there we had a team we together do something great and here as well with the medical team and the brf team it was amazing we we just we were there for each other we were there for the people in moria but we were together as a team an international team and that's why i do this video in english we came from the netherlands germany denmark australia all over the world so if you see this video and you want to do something for the refugees please come over to lesbos and help out here The other thing I, I, I found, um, well, different is I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a one-man show. I run my own business. I do a lot of things with well, social media and, and things like that, which is business-wise. So I try to earn my money with this and it's, it's working out quite well. But every time I do business with somebody, I think to myself, okay, how can I get more out of this? How can I increase my invoice and reducing the time spent? How can I get how can I get more out of this? While well, working in Camp Moria as a volunteer, I notice that I don't get money, but I get rewarded by smiles, affection, love from the refugees, a lot of appreciation. So every time I worked with them, I thought to myself, okay, how can I get more appreciation? How can I get more love, more smiles? It's by giving more so every time i try to give more and more and more it's like just giving a glass of water giving a smile giving human attention giving honest attention answering honest answers to the questions they have if we have reached the maximum numbers of patients we could see during the day i had to say no but i said it with the best intentions I didn't say no because I don't want to see you. No, I would love to see every patient there is out there. But we can't. We are understaffed and we just take the emergency. So I had to say no and I really said, I'm sorry. But please, please, please come back tomorrow. Please do because we are here to help you. And they just smiled and they understood that we are here to help and it was okay. And the more I worked with the persons in Camp Moria, the more I wanted to give, I wanted to make longer hours, give more smiles, give more contact. When I meet a child, 
I go down through my knees, get on eye level, be human. I learned so much about humanity and be human, be human and humanitarian aid. It's it's tremendous. It's so good. Thank you. During those two weeks, I also had discussions with friends back home. They called me or they sent me text messages and well. With, with, with one friend I had a, a discussion, I said, well, one of our translators, he is working for us as a translator between the Farsi language and, and English. And this translator, he comes from Afghanistan. In, in Afghanistan, he's the financial controller, or he was the financial controller of a telecom company. I worked for a telecom company in the Netherlands. My friends, which I was talking to, he is a financial controller. So actually, our translator is, is really one of us. He's just like me. Okay, he might be six years younger, but he, he's just like me, but unfortunate to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. He didn't choose to have his house bombed and to lose his family. He was just a financial controller for a telecom company. Just a human, <laughs> just like you and me, a beautiful people. All of you yourself think, well, I would love to help the refugees as well. Just do it. If you want to come over to Lesbos, just do it. If you want to raise money, just do it. If you want to figure out all the numbers, go on the internet, read about it, just do it. Well, I had a, I had a text discussion with another friend and he said, well, those refugees, I." I'm, 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 I'm Dutch, you know, I, I don't want to have them sleeping on my porch. Well, neither do I. But during the same discussion, or actually a little bit after that, I went into my family tree and I was looking where, where on earth do I come from? And on my mother's side, the family name is Morel. And actually around the 1700s, we, my family, they fled from France to the Netherlands with the Huguenoten, which is a religious group in, in France, 70,000 Frenchmen, they, they, they left France to get to the Netherlands. It's, it's a lot, 70,000. So actually, part of me is it's, it's, it's a refugee, the, the other part, it's, it's coming from Germany. So I'm a, I'm a mixture as well, but well, most of the persons, they see me as Dutch. Uh, my wife, she's from Sweden, so she didn't fled the country but hey she moved to the Netherlands we're all travelers you know we're all traveling the world and well sometimes you're forced to leave your house those guys that are they don't want to leave their house I'm I'm pretty sure they preferably want to go back to Ghana to Cameroon to Ethiopia Eritrea the Comores to Iraq Iran Afghanistan Syria so many countries in Moria there are 48 different nationalities it's amazing and they all left for a reason and some left because of violence because of war and of course there are some they left because of financial freedom hey what would you do if you don't have an income you want to make a living and you want to make a future so if you ever ever think about helping refugees i think now is the moment don't don't think about it. just do it you know i did it <laughs> you can definitely do it so please ah it's been amazing so thank you, thank you very much for watching these videos. Thank you for supporting me and it was a pleasure to make these videos. It took me some time every day, but hey man, it was great. I enjoyed it. So thank you very much and I will be back. Definitely, I will be back. Beautiful people, you live in the same world as I do, but somehow I never noticed you before today I'm ashamed to say Beautiful people We share the same back door and it isn't right We never met before But then We may never if I weren't afraid you'd laugh at me, I would run and take all of your hand.